What's up guys and welcome back to How to Play Dark Souls. Today we're going to be tying up some loose ends and uh, fighting one optional boss uh, just before we go into New Londo for the next episode. Today we're going to do something kind of uh, peculiar. We're basically going to go around and kill all of the fire keepers. Now you don't want to do this until you know for a fact you're not going to come back here again because once you kill the fire keeper uh, the bonfire is not going to be lit anymore, so you won't be able to access it. Uh, I believe you won't be able to warp there anymore either. So keep that in mind. I've already finished the demon ruins and lost Isolith, so I have no reason to come back down here anymore. If you're a member of this covenant and you want to get all of the, um, all the spells, all of the pyromancies that you can get by giving uh, the firekeeper humanity, then do that first before doing this. The reason you want to kill the fire keepers is because they will give you fire keeper souls, which we can then use to upgrade our Estus flask, and we want to upgrade it as far as we can before starting the new game plus run of the game. We'll be able to get our Estus flask up to plus six uh, by killing Quaylog's sister and the fire keeper at Anorlando plus the fire keeper so we haven't used yet which I got at the Duke's archives so we use all three of those we'll have Estus flask plus six the highest you can get it is plus seven so you can just pick up the fire keeper soul again from uh, undead parish on your next run and you'll have a fully upgraded Estus flask and uh, you'll be all set so let's get this over with when we kill her uh, this guy's gonna start losing his mind a little bit so keep an eye on that Let's not risk getting infected. I believe I have an egg vermifuge, which you can use to basically heal the uh, infection that you get from these guys, but um, die please. There we go. And uh, get the fire keeper soul there. And get egg vermifuge. So if you had gotten hit by one of these things and say you, uh, you got infected, you grew the egg on your head, um, you can use Egg Vermifuge to uh, recover from that status ailment. Okay, so we've got that one. Let's head out here and warp to An Orlando. There's also a boss fight we're going to want to do in An Orlando, so... I think all these guys will turn on you. Maybe not. Let's go to Anolando. All right. Hmm. So you have received a revelation. Very auspicious. I hope for the best. I pray that through you, her wish will be granted. Not sure what she's talking about there, but we can enforce our Estus twice, so let's do that. There we go. And now, unfortunately, we have to kill you too. So, let's get ready for this. Alright, go. Very well. so, she uh, powers up her sword with magic. What is she trying to do? What the freak? That was so weird. Anyways, the Crest Knight Shield will do you really well here. Attack me already. Okay, watch out for that. <laughs> I wasn't trying to attack, I was trying to kick to break the guard, but sometimes it's kind of hard to do that. Okay, let's try that again. Well, she's heavy, isn't she? There you go. Be a little more aggressive. That's what you're supposed to do. There we go. Not that hard. Um, just accident. I mean, I tried. I tried to do 
Gosh, it's still not doing it. That's what I tried to do. Was to kick her shield so that she would stagger and then I could attack her, but... Anyways. I'm not trying to rest. I'm not trying to rest. Oh boy. Thank you. Jeez, that would have been so stupid. Okay. One more thing to do here at Anorlando. Now, let's make sure I actually have it. So, we picked up a ring called the... Did I miss it? I might have missed it. I think I missed the dark seance ring. Well, I think you picked that up in the catacombs, and I'm not going back there. So there is one other way to do this. Basically, you can't open the path to this boss without the, the Dark Moon Seance Ring, which I thought I had, but I guess I didn't pick it up. Is this thing going to come down or come up? It seems to be moving slower than usual. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Anyways, um... Since we don't have the Dark Moon Seance Ring, and I don't want to go all the way back to the catacombs to get it, I'm going to do something else. And that something else is kill uh, Guinevere. If you kill Guinevere, the path will also open up to this next boss area. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and push this down so I can just show you guys where we're going. Will this put it up or down? Go down. Okay, good. Go down here. There's another bonfire we can light. Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and kindle this, and I'll be right back. Okay, we've fully kindled the bonfire here. Let's repair all of our equipment. Whoops. And grab this item. And if you kneel here, is it here? Somewhere you can kneel and join a covenant. I thought it was here. I have not done this in a really long time. I've only joined this covenant once and it was so that I could uh, so that I could get the trophy because I was trying to get platinum on this game. But I don't remember exactly how to do this anymore. Alright, I remember now. So you have to make the statue disappear. So if I had the Dark Moon Seance Ring I would put it on, this statue would disappear, and then I could go and join the Covenant. But um, since I don't have it, I have to kill Guinevere. Now the problem is, if you kill Guinevere, the boss that would um, that you could fight back there will be hostile towards you for killing, uh, for killing Guinevere. So you'd have to go and seek absolution first. Um, back where you fought the Belfry Gargoyles, uh, there's an NPC down there. Where am I right now? I need to go back up. There's an NPC down there who can absolve your sins whenever you betray a covenant, or in this case when you make this boss hostile towards you. Then you would want to come back after you've had your sins absolved, and then you could join the covenant. Now there is something really interesting that happens when you kill Guinevere, so I'm I'm kind of glad that I have to do it this way because this will make it interesting get to show you a part of the game that maybe some people don't know. At this point everyone knows about it. This game's been up forever, but in any case it's cool. I'm just going to run past these guys. Just want to get the Guinevere, that's it. I guess I could have warped there. That would have been smart.
Here's a little interesting bit of lore before, before we introduce you to the next boss. Notice that there is Gwyn, uh, King of Anorlando. Here's Guinevere right here next to him. And a spot for someone else. But the statue is no longer there. Very interesting. Alright, let's do this. I'm actually not sure if I've ever done this before. Can I just run up an attacker with my sword? Don't think so. Maybe you have to shoot her. Right in the face. Well, that was easy enough. Alright, so when you kill Guinevere, this is what happens. I am Gwyndon. And thy transgression shall not go unpunished. Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor Londo. Alright, so Anor Londo goes dark when you kill uh when you kill the princess there. Can I warp? Dark Moon Tomb, that sounds like it. Let's go there. Here it is, and as you can see, the statue has disappeared and you can come down here. Now what you would normally do if you got your sins absolved, or if you had used the Dark Moon Seance Ring to make that disappear, is come and kneel right here, and then you could join the Blade of Dark Moon Covenant, I think it's called. But we're not going to do that today, we're just going to kill the boss. I want this shield, so this is all good. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. This boss is very easy. Heretic. First thou offended the Godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the Great Lord. I am the Dark Sun, Gwyndolin. Let the atonement for thy felonies commence. Okay, so this is Gwendolyn. He is the son of Gwyn. And he's very easy to kill. He basically just has long range attacks. They're pretty easy to avoid. All you gotta do is hide behind these pillars when he shoots magic at you. Oh, he hits you through the pillars? I was not expecting that. I didn't know he could shoot you through the pillars. I thought that was the whole point of the pillars. to hide behind them so that they don't hit you. You can dodge that one pretty easy. Just run to the side. Yeah, he doesn't have very much HP, so you only have to do that a couple times and you should be good to go. Watch out for that one. Chug a little Estus here. Hide right there. Pretty easy to avoid all the attacks. Couldn't quite get him on the third one there, but we got him on the next hit, so. Let's get behind this wall. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, jeez, that was not good. <laughs> that was an just an incredibly unlucky thing to happen. I don't think I've ever died on that boss before, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. This boss is not hard. I can't believe that that happened. I just was not expecting that. All right, we'll try it again. All right, let's give this another go. Got me last time. 
Not going to happen again, I promise you. Just run back and forth really is all it takes. To the side. To the side. Ooh. See, that's how he surprised me the first time. He's dead. Oh, hit him one more time. There you go. Jeez. All I can take, swathed in dark, an eternal curse upon thee. And there you have it. I think I have killed all of the optional bosses in the game now. Get the soul of Gwendolyn. Get our freaking bloodstain back. There we go. It's waiting for the souls to count. Down here, you can pick up chest. And it contains sunlight blade. This one contains the armor. This is the armor that the firekeeper was wearing. And there should be one more. No, it's empty. That's right, forgot about that. Okay, so that's how you defeat Gwendolyn. I'm gonna go back to the bonfire and level up. And then I'll warp to Firelink Shrine, where I will upgrade my Estus Flask, and then we'll call that uh, the episode for today. Next time we'll go into Anorlando. Anorlando, that's where I'm at right now. Next time we'll go into New Londo. That should be one episode. Should we get through New London in one episode? And then we will finish the game in the next. So there's two more episodes after this. Let's see level up here. Good. Did I just do that? I meant to do vitality. I've just like gotten so used to putting him into endurance, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh well. Let's warp to Firelink Shrine. Okay, back at Firelink Shrine. Let's dead down here and talk to the Firekeeper. And enforce our Estus Flask. So we now have an Estus Flask plus six. Excellent. Now if we had used, if you remember when you fought the Knight uh, Latrec and got this Firekeeper's soul before, we brought it back here and used it to bring her back to life. But you could have taken it to any of the other fire keepers and used it to upgrade your Estus Flask. So technically you can get Estus Flask plus 7. But I like having my fire, uh, my bonfire burning at uh, Firelink Shrine. So, Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Peace!